Hey guys, we're back here back with another video, and in today's video, we're here back in Southwest Florida. If you guys have not seen my last video, I'm pretty much coming back to Southwest Florida, and that video was a new code, which can give you 50k cash and a brand new car, so you guys should definitely go check out that code and that video. But anyway, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to drift, because my how to drift tutorial got 1.8 thousand views before. And that's when I made bad thumbnails and the overall video quality is pretty bad. So today I'm just going to make a nice quick tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and get a car. Now I'm going to show you guys two different ways on how to do this. The first way is the freeway and the second way is the Robux way. So for the freeway, the vehicle that you'd want to get, I think is a sedan. I'll have to find it first and I'm not sure of the name um but it's pretty much used in the trailer of the game it's this um sedan ah oh, there it is uh it's the 2018 Do dodge challenger demon you can buy this for 86,000. that's the first way and then the second way is just get whatever other car you want this one kind of slides a lot if you put drift tires on it which is the paid way so i recommend you get the 2021 ford mustang gt for 43,000. so once you've got all these things we'll just start off with the freeway this way can be used with drift tires but it is kind of hard so the freeway is pretty much you get into your car and you're ready to drift this car is the only car that will drift well for you you can use other cars to drift but for that you'd probably need drift tires but again this is the freeway so you will not need drift tires so the first thing you want to do is for a drift on this intersection right here let's say you'd want to get to around a hundred miles per hour so then you can get a comfortable nice drift and you'd want to have your hand on the p or on mobile your hand on the handbrake and you'd hit your handbrake right around here you gotta add some juice into it and you'd slide that that's just the sliding and then there's control as well obviously i'll quickly increase the graphics so you guys can see where we're actually even drifting um that should be good it's pretty laggy now but it should be pretty fun we're not gonna have it on like this forever so you can just turn around and you're let's just go through the movements first so you're at 100 plus miles per hour and at this point right around here you slam the handbrake and then you're turning 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 you're counter steering as well which is turning the other way to control the drift and then you made it over to the other side you don't want to turn all the way because turning all the way will do this you just get into a 360 and you don't want that what you want is just to do a nice clean drift so we're going to get again to 100 plus miles per hour once we're at this point slam the handbrake i hit it too hard there but you just want to give it a nice little tap or go so fast to the point where you will actually slide now uh here is a hairpin it's just doing a ue and you could go slow for these and there we go that was kind of it and uh without drift tires drifting in this game is pretty hard so yeah i'll just show you guys a better one here there, counter steering, counter steering, and then we kind of did that. That wasn't really clean at all, though. The clean drifts come when you have drift tires. So this car is too drifty for drift tires, in my opinion. We're just going to go ahead and sell this. We don't need this. And uh, now we're going to grab the 2021 Ford Mustang GT. Now you can spawn it in, go in. You can use this for the free version as well, because this car isn't as crazy and as slidey so you could kind of drift with it but it's not really too good but once you add drift tires boom this costs robux by the way uh this will make your drifting life so much easier now we'll just do a nice hairpin here and that was actually very very bad but pretty much the whole point is that you can really really drift easily we'll just do a quick drift over here and i'll show you guys how so we're going 100 hit that brake and we didn't counter steer enough but you'd normally slide out there now i'll show you guys a drift that i commonly do these cars are optional these are like the overall drift cars but i drift really good in other cars which is why i've been doing really bad so far um but i drift extremely good this is actually my best uh drift car in the game i believe and um it's the amg sls this is a limited car it's already off sale it's been off sale for a very very long time but this thing slides without drift tires and it slides even more with. So, uh, we can just get up to speed here. We can go like 90, 100 and then hit the brake and then see how that slides right there. So that's really, really good. So pretty much what you want to do now 
is you don't want to go to 100 miles per hour every single time, especially if you're going on a turn like that. But like for something like a hairpin, you want to go a bit slower, hit the drift, and that was not the best either. But we'll just drift into this area here, and boom. Uh, we actually got stuck. Let me turn on the graphics because it's very laggy. All right, guys, so now we can hop back in, hit the drift tires, and we'll just do a hairpin here with low graphics. Then we could actually not be laggy. And that was pretty clean. So it was just because I was laggy. That's why it's kind of hard for me to do this. But for this main intersection turn, you want to kind of maintain 100 miles per hour and then hit the handbrake. If you're going, if you're uh, understeering, you want to uh, hit the gas. And if you're oversteering, you want to let go of the gas, maybe hit the handbrake one or two more times and counter steer. So that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If this video did help you guys out and you all know how to drift now, uh, make sure to drop a like and a sub. It really helps me out and it recommends this video to more people so more people learn how to drift. And if you guys want me to do a video on the top five drift cars, that was also one of my most popular videos for a very long time. Uh, you could definitely go check that video out. But if you guys want me to do a part two of that, Make sure to tell me down in the comments below. I'm also doing a Robux giveaway once we hit 10 group members. And buying the merch increases your chance of winning. So hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, I'm Robux Ways. Thanks for watching.